up everybody welcome to sketch a day live let me <clears throat> make one final setup thing here it's 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 always crazy i should do a behind the scenes uh video of how everything gets set up and everything that has to happen to go live sometime um paying attention to youtube comments as always so if you want to participate in the chat that's where you need to be Streams provided as a courtesy on other platforms. Okay, today's Fan Friday. So I got my iPad. We're going to look at some of your work on the Discord. We've got a Discord server. And this is your chance to show your work, show your stuff, what you got. Let me just connect up here. Make sure we're good to go. Special shout out and thanks. Hey, Chris, what's up? Good to see you, man. Apple Jacks, Titania, thanks for being patient and waiting. Like I said, it, it takes a lot to get up and running. Um, <laughs> and I actually, I actually bounce between two setups now because I, I do a podcast with some friends. It's a grown up podcast, guys, but I do a podcast with some friends. So I've got equipment in two places now. It's a bit, uh, a bit intense. So let's see what we got here. Just got to make sure we're up and running. No, it's not working for some reason. All right, hold up. What is happening here? What is happening? All right, there we go. There we go. Woo. Woo. All right, so we're going to take a look at the Discord, like I said. Um, if you want to join the Discord, that information is in the chat. I think we missed uh, Vasish's sketch last time, so just want to show some love. I got another sub coming. Thanks, man. Um, just want to show some love and appreciation to you guys for your work, for your, uh, you know, watching the stream, supporting the kind messages, all of that good stuff. We do it for the love here so whoa got my background moved around apologies should lock that should lock it all right boom there we go okay oh thanks again besieged and uh if you guys want to join the discord that link is available in the video description on youtube um but it's just sketchaday.com slash discord Again, if you're watching on you on Instagram, sorry, you don't get the, the best view. I have this little dongle here, so you'll be able to get a much better picture if you head over to YouTube. Um, I will be taking requests, so let me know. Love from Pakistan. Thank you, thank you. Hello to you guys on the Facebook, the book face as well. Um, all right. So much love. Thanks, Vasish. There's Vasish sketch, little helmet. You know, I'm not I'm not one to really sketch without lines, so I'm always impressed when people do. Like really nice work. So I'm much I'm much more of a, a line artist. Okay, so the theme this week was uh nature. That's what we were focus focusing on. Um yeah, I'll I'll send you the link for the podcast, Chris, <laughs> after. Um I'm trying to create separation and branding between what I do here and, and that, so because it's it's just so different. But Anyhow, um, we got mystery with a submission. The theme was nature. So did a stream this week where did some painting and drawing as well. That was super fun. Thanks for hanging. Thank you, mystery, for your work. Lovely sunflower here. Looks like, oh, that's interesting. Looks like uh, the paper was ripped and you kind of, I'm not sure if the rip was on purpose or not. Man, this is some intense tea. It's turmeric and ginger and um, something else, but intense. I've stopped drinking as much coffee. I'm, I'm more of a, I'm in a tea phase right now. So if you have any good teas to recommend, let me know. I'm like really into it. Thanks, Apple Jacks. I got this shirt actually, um, Scott Wilson of Minimal Design in Chicago designed it and all proceeds go to the NA NAACP if you're wanting to support that and I forgot the website but I think it might be design think 
Mystery.org or something like that, but check out his profile. I'm good, Vasisht. So thank you, Mystery, for your submission. Ali did a plant here. Lovely, lovely quick painting. I like the lighting. It's a, kind, of a, kind of an alien plant. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun. Chai tea. Oh, that's there's some chai in this tea as well. I forgot. And then I actually really enjoyed this one. This is from Tom Humphrey in the UK. And what's up? Hello, hello, detox tea. If you have any, I don't know what detox tea is, but if there's like a certain combination I can acquire and put together. But um, just been drinking more tea instead of coffee. Um, less. I I will admit I had a thing for Diet Coke at one point more recently and i'm trying to cut it out like just cut it out and just do water and tea so i actually did that for a whole year once i did no carbonated anything just drank water for a whole year um maybe i should try that again anyhow love this by tom it's really cool and what i like about it is it's it's almost a different take on an image board where at least that's what it reminds me of where when you're designing something and you collect some images and you use that as inspiration. So Tom, I don't know if you can tell what this is, looks like a shoe to me. And I think that was his intent, um, kind of a photo mash of a bunch of things to come up with this shoe design. So I thought that was pretty cool. And yeah, I'd love to see Tom sketch on this a bit more as well. Yeah, and it's no good. So I'm cutting it out, cutting it out. All right, and then we have this is kind of hard to see because I can't rotate it, but it's an octopus, looks like. So nice, nice pencil work. Probably need to go a little bit further on the shading, I think, to make it really start to pop. But uh, nice start. And this is by HPI477. All right. So that's it for this week so far. If you want to, pardon me, if you want to submit some more stuff, feel free to do that in the Discord. Again, this is our little community outside of the streams if you want feedback in fact there's a, a channel here for get help I've already been five new messages crazy um so here's an example lynette was asking hey how do you help me or help, can someone help me draw hexagons in an ellipse and i totally missed this message um but i thought the advice was was solid right so here's jordan laying it out right it's pretty cool and then h pi as well throwing in some additional suggestions. So that's what I love about the group online is that we can all help each other and we can all get better together. All right, so I'm gonna switch back to the overhead here and I'm gonna start on paper today. Maybe we'll do some digital stuff. We already got one request in for a semi truck. So I'll probably start there. If you have other requests, let me know. But I will be, I'll be working on paper a little bit um, to start. I guess, I guess it's a little bit self-serving in the sense that if I do it on paper here, and I haven't warmed up, so this is going to function kind of as a, as a warm-up sketch. Um, but if I do it on paper here, I get to, I get to kind of work on my uh, 500 page challenge as well. So semi truck, I'd probably start with something like this here all right i guess it just depends on the type of truck if it's more futuristic or whatever i'm just gonna keep it keep it chill let's keep it chill now i'm kind of doing this from memory so pardon me if it's off let's see we probably have two sets of wheels here oh i forgot i forgot we need our little uh little bed base so and then the truck itself Right, this with this drop down. I'm trying to remember, but I know we're gonna have wheels, so like two here, and then two sets back here. So probably something like this. Yeah, that feels about right. In that in that fuzzy area. Okay, but that's the whole purpose of thumbnails. When in doubt, rough it out. Let me grab my other pens. <clears throat> Floating sci-fi bike. That'd be fun too. All right, let's grab some pens. Hope you're good on this this wonderful Friday. I'm feeling good, feeling fine. Blessings to you too, Latrice. So yeah, trying to be healthier, people. 
trying to be healthier. All right, so reminder, I am taking comments and suggestions today on YouTube. So if you want to participate, restream provided as a courtesy more than anything. All right. So if you're if you're going to sketch something that you've never sketched before or you're unfamiliar with, it's always helpful to I think anyways, kind of get get a few orthographic views in. All right, just so you understand what you're doing. And certainly helpful if you If you've drawn something like it before, certainly helpful. All right, maybe some bumper here. I'm not looking at any reference, so I'm kind of just... Don't forget to add Van Damme. <laughs> um, I'm kind of just going from memory and doing a couple quick orthographic sketches here. All right, just to make sure... Make sure we got a good grasp on things. Did any of you guys get in on the uh the whole GameStop thing? <laughs> it's been it's been interesting watching that whole uh whole thing happen, man. It's been really, really interesting. So I guess this this box can be a little bit higher. But yeah, it's been really interesting uh seeing all of that unfold. I do I do have some investments myself but not not in all that. I kind of just I I had seen the news and I was like what is going on? You know and and actually do use Robinhood as well um for my trades. Is that Oh no. We'd have we'd have uh just the cab here. So do this a couple times. Anyhow, um should we put smokestacks up or whatever? Exhaust. But yeah, I have some investments and I was just like, what is going on in the market? This is crazy. And then I read the stories. I, I will say I've learned a lot about the stock market in the last... More more than I've... I've, I've invested for, gosh... Uh, maybe 10 years now, at least. But I've certainly learned a lot in the last few days. Um, I was more of a, just a casual, casual investor, you could say. But uh, yeah, it's really interesting to see collectively what people can do together. It's been the highlight of your week. Yeah, it's been <laughs> funny to watch. That is the power of Reddit, indeed. What is my daily routine? Um, so, I don't, think any, I don't think anyone's ever asked me that. Um, I get up, obviously. I'm grateful for every day I have. So, wake up. And then, I... Let's see, I do single parent, so... First thing I do... If I wake up early enough, first thing I like to do is work out, get the blood pumping. So I do like a either a very long, slow workout if I have the time, or I'll do like a quick circuit. So today I did just a quick 45 minute workout, but that didn't happen till later. So normally I'll wake up and then, um, you know, get lunches and school stuff ready, clean, clean up my house a little bit. So I, I like to... I like to work in a clean house. My kids are probably uh, frustrated that I'm so picky, but I do I do like a clean house. So clean, get ready, um, get the kids ready for school, and then, because um, school's in session at least where, where I live, and they're in elementary school, so I don't, I don't have any reservations about sending them right now. If they're in high school or something, I'd, I'd be a bit more concerned with the pandemic but I digress anyhow 
So <laughs> I take them to school. And then if I'm streaming early in the morning, I'll get mentally ready for that um, and then stream. But as I was mentioning on the last stream, next Monday and Tuesday, I have um, an engagement that I'm doing for Adobe. And that is that's going to take up both days, Monday and Tuesday. Yes, I do single parents. So I have two kids and they've come on the stream before they've they visited and said, hey, I think they they want to be on more. But, you know, actually, one of them wants to do their own channel aside from this other channel that we do, which I've kind of, I kind of put on pause because it was just too much. But I digress. Anyhow, so during the day, I'll do streams, workshops, design work. OK, during the day. What a request. Please move the paper to the left. If you want to see more of the paper on Instagram, join on YouTube. The end. Um, <laughs> so I'll do design work, streaming, stuff like that. And then um, from 3 p.m. Well, I pick up my kids at 3 and then let's do some perspective thumbnails and then we'll do a real one. Um, I pick up the kids at three and then sorry, let me just get this, get this sketch going. This is a very top down perspective. Um, then I'll work some more. I'll kind of set them up, work some more. And then around six, we kind of, I'll, I'll do dinner and then we kind of just hang out. So that's uh, that's basically it. After bed, I'll work on other projects. So I'll work on um, things like the digital guide I'm still working on. Um, I will draw some more or uh, if it's researching something, I'll, I'll do it kind of at night. I'm cheating because I ran out of space here, but we'll do some more perspectives to warm up. And then, yeah, then I get then I get to bed, and that's pretty much it. So, I guess if I were to say how it's actually broken up, it's it's definitely a mix of parenting and real life and business all at the same time. So, it's tough. I'm always busy. People always want to hang out or do something, and I'm like, sorry, I can't. I'm busy. It's hard. It's hard uh, trying to do it all, but you know, grateful, grateful for opportunities for work and whatever else. <clears throat> Please turn off the comments. Hmm, strange. Anyhow, if you want a better view of what I'm doing, you can join on YouTube um, for other people. Gracias por comparti compartirnos parte de cosas. Oh, de nada. Evelyn on Facebook. De nada. Oh, no worries. You can join... Uh, you can join Patreon as well. So I appreciate your your willingness, your desire to support. There's also patreon.com slash sketchaday. I'm like phoning it in on this sketch. I need to pay attention. Probably because I was talking at the same time. And we could do like a, a modern semi truck or something. I keep making the same mistake where I draw the box too big. One of my kids is complaining right now because he wants to watch TV, but he has to finish his homework first. Parenting life, man. Anyhow, yeah, could do something like this. Let's try some different perspectives as well. Thanks for the idea, though. Much appreciated. Fan Friday, all about you guys. Thanks for your submissions. Again, your great work. 
I'll keep an eye on the Discord if anyone adds anything to the weekly sketch challenge channel. Shout out to Jordan for his work and holding it down. It was it's one of our mods. It was his idea. So much appreciation. Jordan and Lines. Not sure if Lines is here today, but Yeah, so maybe we could do something like this. Some some sort of future semi. I like this surface detail. I don't know what would happen here, but I like that kind of shelf happening. Maybe this could be more aerodynamic that way. You know, cover the box so we don't have have any drag going on. That's kind of it's it's interesting. I have to round this out right here. So when in doubt, rough it out. That's what we're doing. Let's see if we can just fill out the page. Maybe uh, another sketch here. Maybe these futuristic semis are sketched like this because they're easier to draw. I don't know. Isn't Tesla supposed to be making a semi truck as well? It's interesting because the aesthetic of the semi truck, at least from what I saw or can see, doesn't seem to be in line with the cyber truck concept. Super controversial design for their electric pickup truck that they came up with. All right, let's see if this, yeah. I'm trying to sketch in this weird surface. You wouldn't really see, see much of this coming into play. I guess you would see it here, this wrap down. I'm trying to sketch that view. Right there. So reminder, if you want to participate, YouTube is where I'm at, where I'm watching comments and so forth. Sketchday.com slash Discord should be the link. It's not working. It should be working. You can check it real quick. Or I'll check it after the... Uh, oh, sorry, I was way down low. <laughs> I can check it after the show. Um, check that link. Sorry, Jon Snow. I was off, off the table a little bit there. Sorry, gang. Woo! All right, I'm back. Sweden is making hydro semi trucks. That's interesting. Yeah, sorry about that, Arnav. Hey, Lori. Thanks for joining. I was thinking we need to do another fashion week soon, so maybe we'll do that. We'll have another another week of me being un uncomfortable and uh, <laughs> drawing fashion designs. All right, so now I think I've kind of got the hang hang of it. I think I'll do kind of decide if I want to do this one or this one. You know, which which uh, design if I want to do something more classic or uh, the futuristic looking one, but I think, I think I'll do the futuristic. Futuristic semi truck. I'm 
Trying to be a little bit more careful now. Alright, maybe this maybe this has next to no ground clearance or something. So it's like super aerodynamic. Something like that. Of course, we need a cutout for a door of some sort. Maybe wheels there. Using a paper made flare today, by the way. As always. Let's see. So you can check out that link. If you're curious what materials I'm using, I need to update it because I've started using some additional things, some Sakura pens, for example. I guess we could make this truck bed somewhat aerodynamic as well. Maybe this comes down. So yeah, there's one concept. I forgot my other wheels. I mean, those could be covered up, though. Those could have been covered up. Good evening, Tom. If an F1 team made a truck, what would it look like? I have no idea. It's a good question, though. Fun topic, so thank you. I wonder what would happen if if the truck were, were creased like an iron. Like, what if... What if you didn't really need that much visibility because you're using cameras instead? What if? What if? Hello, NYC Tours. Thank you. Much love, much appreciation. NYC Tours with the super chat. Thank you so much. So yeah, what if, you know, the driver is up here and all you have is a little slit, but you know, in the windows, or it's not windows, but uh, mirrors, but they're just cameras, right? They're just little, little cameras that are mounted here or something. That could be interesting. I guess that would be... I don't know, it, it challenges my idea of convention just because I, I like driving where I can see everything, but it would be interesting for sure. So now we've kind of delved into the realm of, realm of sci-fi trucks almost. Always fun though. So yeah, whether that's visible or not, I guess it would need to be, um, you know, if this articulates. Couldn't really have that being covered, so we'll keep the wheels as they are. And then we could have a drop here. These back wheels could be covered, though. Like, there's no reason those need to be sticking out. Other than, uh, hey, maybe I need to change my tires or whatever. But yeah, it would be cool if... If you really didn't need to, let's get a door cut out here. If you didn't need to have like actual windows, and then 
there's a camera or something that it could see through. Newer Scania and Volvo trucks can be having a bunch of additional sensors for being in a convoy. Ooh, oh wow, that is interesting. That was very interesting. So Arnev says the newer Scania and Volvo trucks are going to be are going to have sensors so that if there's a lead truck, so if this is the lead truck and this one has a driver, this is the way I understand it, anyways, that you could have drone trucks, right? These aren't tethered, but you'd have drones, drone trucks behind it. That's interesting. That is really interesting. All right, let's throw some light marker on, just really light and easy. Let's see what I've got. Hmm. Cool gray. I always run out of cool gray. Always. It's a very popular choice. For me, what is design? Design is solving problems. That is design. Design is problem solving. Um, There's an aesthetic component to design, visualization. Another thing I say is design is communication. So it's about listening to customer needs. I'm gonna try something and hopefully this works. I'm gonna put some of my Copic gray marker ink into this Bianyo marker. See if it works. It should work. It should work just fine. Um, so sketching is sketch or sorry, not sketching. Design is communication. Design is problem solving. Design is not about you. It's always about someone else, typically a customer, business. And I think that's where some younger designers run into trouble is you forget that design is not about you. And sometimes we can, and I, I was guilty of this too. You can dig yourselves, dig your heels in and think you have the best answer. Um, design is an inclusive activity. It's a, it's a team sport, if you will. So it's important to remember that, I feel. And design is fun. Design is absolutely fun. I will do a bike. Thank you for your contribution, Shubham. Thank you for the super chat. We've got two today, NYC Tours and Shubham. Much appreciated. Um, so yeah, design is, design is those things to me. For sure. All right, so I got a request and the super chat, so I will follow through. So here's our initial exercise, just kind of figuring out, you know, proportion, <laughs> did some quick perspective, and then two more concepts here. Um, if I wanted to, I could scan these in and then, you know, color in Procreate or some other app pretty easily, but let's do a quick bike. some bikes I should say I need a little bit more of this ink though where did I put it where did I put it yeah I just want to prime the tip here so to speak all right let's do a bike I appreciate the request is there a type of bike specifically or just any bike <laughs> don't care if you don't care i'll just do i'll just do something something generic all right so in terms of proportion for a bike i'm gonna go with one two 
So basically, two wheels between the central axis here. All right. Sport bike, okay. You can do a sport bike. So I'm gonna go with two wheels. Um, general, general things I try to do, there's gonna be some sort of suspension pivot and then we can block this out for you know motor right here some sort of swing arm I'm not a bike expert so if I'm missing something let me know and then we have uh, shock and not shock and awe but shock and frame right and you can kind of connect the frame to this engine portion here and then usually I'll just throw in some shape up here, whatever whatever um, we decide. And then we've got handles. Right. If it's a if it's gas powered, we're gonna have some sort of tank, and then we'll have seat as well. All right. So just generally speaking, that's kind of what I go with. And then if you want to play with proportion, you can, you know, pull that wheel out, pull the back wheel out, whatever you got to do. How do you ideate and develop a particular design direction? Um, oh, sci-fi bike. Okay. So I'll do a sport bike and then I'll do, I guess, a hover bike. Or we could make it a sport sci-fi bike. So that being said, um, if you want, you can sketch from the front. And hopefully you guys are getting the hang of this, like, and seeing what I, what I do and and how I sketch, which is to say, if you don't take time to really think about what you're doing, you'll run into trouble, I think, um, as you sketch. So I like to just take some time and figure out proportionally or structurally what it is I'm doing, first of all, just even high level like that. Do it a couple times and then you can kind of move into styling. Hey, Luciano, what's up? I use comparisons to Hitler to win arguments on the internet at the drop of a hat. You always do amazing work, so <laughs> honored to have you here. And then, and then we can pick perspective, right? So do we want to show our bike like this? Do we want to show it like this? Do we want to show a perspective like so? Um, just for purposes of illustration, right? So there's different points of view and that's going to give you different amounts of information based on based on uh, what you're trying to do. Sorry, I saw I saw a name Bagwan on the, the chat here and it reminded me of uh, this documentary I saw on Netflix called Wild Wild Country. Have you guys seen that? So if it's helpful, you can do like a straight line drawing, something like this. I like to do these as well before I commit to whatever I'm doing that is final. Just gives me a chance to to block things out in perspective. If you're curious about the actual construction, draw a square, something like that, and then I'm just gonna offset, have the other wheels. Wheel's a little too big, but I'll leave it be for now. Nice thing is if you, if you do this straight line construction, it right, takes it takes a bit of the complexity out of even figuring out the perspective and then you can start iterating on top day a day robots i have not seen that samsung announcement i don't typically look at samsung announcements i'm an apple guy i will i will say um so you can hate me now if you want remember when people used to be so passionate about um you know, which phone or even even operating system. You remember that? People used to be used to be so so passionate about it. Alright, so for a sport bike, what I'll do is 
kind of combine a bit of this shroud with the body. And then kind of throw in some lines here, something like this. We're still gonna have that that suspension frame thing happening, but maybe maybe dealing with a bit more sculpted form, for example. Carry some of these lines through. Maybe something like that. I guess we need an exhaust. I haven't really put an exhaust in these. And it, it really just depends on, okay, are you doing a bike with a combustion engine or is this going to be electric? I like electric bikes because it, it makes it simpler for me to, to draw an electric bike. You don't have to even really know what all the engine components or parts are. So we'll call this bike-ish, sport bike-ish, sport bike-ish. Ooh, brake caliper, forgot about that. Or disc, brake disc, I mean, sorry. Caliper would be, would be back here. It's a little bit muddy, but quick sketch. And then now, now that we've kind of explored a little bit, we can do a more final sketch. What's the term used for someone who can make design from combining objects or design? That's a designer, right? Pretty sure that's, that's a designer. So once you have the, the perspective and the, um, approach down, you can kind of start to just gesturally sketch here. At least I can. That's what I'm kind of doing. And because I kind of know where, where things are going to go because I did that, that upfront work. I don't know if this is too low. But whatever. Looks like a, looks like a robot. Those bikes in, uh, I always forget the Terminator. Is it Terminator Salvation or, it's not Genesis, but there's these like bike Terminators. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen that movie. There's these Terminators that are basically bikes. And yeah, this kind of reminds me of that a little bit. All right, so for the body, what I might do, and I'm trying to think in terms of ergonomics, like if you have to put your, like your knee's gonna come in here, I need to create some sort of affordance for that. All right, so if there's a contour line on this bike, it might go something like that behind, but this could come in, go like so. Maybe something like that. And then for a final sketch, I'll do another, I'll do an overlay of this one, um, just to show you guys how I, how I work. Since you, uh, since you hooked up the super chat, I'll go a little bit deeper here on our sketch. We just make it electric. I didn't get I didn't get Maybe there's some battery pack or something here. Oh. 
anyhow, so before I um, finish my main sketch, a lot of times I'll I'll take some time to kind of just be rough here. Again, familiar pattern if you've watched me before. Um, I'll do a bunch of bunch of stuff like this. I need to correct something, whatever. Just need to correct it, and I can. I can do all that. All right. The live will not be saved on Instagram, by the way. So if you want to catch the replay, you can catch it on YouTube. So this is a bit long. Right, so this right now is long. So in my overlay, I'll shorten it up. Um, but let's see, or we can just, I can keep going and do another one. I just want to fill out the page and then we'll do a final one. All right. <laughs> so the other reason I don't like doing real products on, on stream is that there's a, there's a comment here. The front looks like Ducati and the back looks like KLM. It's like everything you do looks like something, no matter what. So I'm just like... I don't even want to deal with it for the most part. Everything's a remix. Everything's a remix. So yeah, if you want to if you want to catch that replay, it's going to be available on YouTube. YouTube.com slash sketchday.com. Thanks again for watching. All who are watching. Front wheels a little bit wide. Um, and then none, none of this is done with, uh, what would I say, gray marker or pencil or anything like that. We're just kind of going freestyle here. So this feels a little low to the ground. And I just want to point these things out. So as I'm, um, as I am working a lot of times i'll notice these things i'm like okay if i'm gonna do this again i need to fix how long it is i need to fix you know the the ground clearance for example so i'll move things in the overlay <laughs> looks like a bike to you <laughs> um sup tom we showed off your shoe sketch earlier and i was saying um it was really cool it was really cool to see it it reminded me of almost like a, an image board come to life in a product. So maybe a different take on, on an image board. And I thought that's pretty cool. So yeah, after, after a few few rounds you can start to find your flow all right you can find your flow figure out what works all right so i fixed that ground clearance right and i fixed the the distance between uh front and rear as well all right so Sometimes it just takes going over things a few times and you can kind of sketch it up. Hey Hitesh, buddy. I'm doing well, buddy. Drinking my turmeric tea.
Oh, that's intense. Hmm. <clears throat> Pardon me. Good grief. Ooh. Like, I know it's good for me, but man. It's intense. All right. So we had a request for a hover bike as well. So we're going to be doing, doing, doing some more bike stuff um, after this one. But I will do a cleaned up version. I guess this is the bike show. I'll do a cleaned up version of, uh, let me, let me make sure I'm doing this right. Do a cleaned up version of my initial sketch. Maybe this will be a vignette. This one feels like it's too rotated that way. So let me, let me do a quick check. Yeah. It's a little bit too rotated of an ellipse. It's okay though. I can shade this in, do a little, little drawing magic, trick your eyes. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, that wheel's busted. <laughs> it's probably probably beyond repair. I was optimistic, but it's probably beyond repair. It's like weird. And then this one's off. So I'm going to abandon that one. All right, so let's do turmeric with warm milk. I haven't tried that. I haven't tried that. So now I've got uh, my underlay here. And I'll, I'll probably just pick... Hmm. I'll pick this one right here and then maybe flip the paper and do another concept or something. All right. So we're just doing a sport bike. Doing an overlay now. I don't know her. So sketch day live. Thanks for joining. And I'm gonna make this electric. So I do want to show maybe this this battery right here. Then I'll bring this back like so. I guess I could have cut the battery. Maybe had a cool surface on it. Or something. And then cooling. Cooling for our battery because batteries get hot. So maybe there's some some cooling here. Some sort of intake. Like so. And like I said, I'm gonna shorten this up. Because I feel like it was a little bit too long. a little bit too long. And let's do, get my swing arm in here. Actually, I'm doing the same, th I'm, I'm making the same mistake <laughs> I did before, but I'll fix it. All right, so now I've shortened that up. I've pulled it in, okay. Get our shock in here. So that's that's kind of how I go about cleaning up a sketch. And if I need to clean up even more, I'll take it digital. Like I'll I'll take this sketch, scan it in, and then clean it up digitally. It's also something you can do.
It's nice and easy there. I didn't really didn't really anticipate changing much on the shock here, so I'll just keep it as is. And then let's sketch in some sort of great caliper looking thing. bit of a rim here. I'm just going to shade in this portion here like so. Then we'll get the wheel. So no marker on this one, just Quick, quick pen overlay sketch. Some spokes. Spokes for our rear wheel. Capture the other ellipse behind because really you're dealing with two ellipses that are offset for that wheel. So I know I say draw with your shoulder, but in this instance, because the distance is so uh, short, I can set my palm almost like the point on a pivot and then just swing. Not the happiest with the front here. It feels weird. But I'll leave it for now. Oh man, that turmeric's working its magic. <sighs> Good grief. All right, let's finish out this wheel. Just some hatching. So that's meant to show a little bit of a, a highlight on the wheel. And then just to finish this out, I'm going to hatch in the opposite direction. Like so. Put some slots in our our disc disc brake here. And now let's see if I can capture some of the other side of the wheel. So there's another ellipse going through here basically. And then now I will add rest of these spokes. I'm going to shade them in. Shade them in with the pen here. Do your sketches at times not come out? Oh, all the time. <laughs> all the time, but it's okay. I think, I think one of the important things is just not to take your yourself too seriously like there's some designers you'll see online or i'm i'm a serious designer i'm like okay so if i if i take myself too seriously then oftentimes like i'll get stressed out if, if i'm holding myself to having the sketch come out perfectly so you just kind of have to relax and when you do i don't know it, it just kind of lowers the temperature a bit and you don't at least i don't feel as stressed and beholden to getting it perfect now if a client wants something specific like a commission type thing 
then it's a little bit different because I'm trying to match their vision. And that can be that can be a bit stressful, if you will. That can be a bit stressful. So this live will be saved like all my other lives on YouTube. So if you want to watch it on YouTube, you can check it out. What's up? Detulo joined in. So yeah, if you want to catch the replay, youtube.com slash sketchday.com. And then in addition to that, sketchday.com slash videos is where um, you can find kind of a list. So I'll add these to it, but there'll be a list of videos there you can check out as well. All right. So how it started, right? Super rough sketch. And there is a quick redo. This is a PaperMate flare pen. Um, if you happen to have Amazon, they usually have decent prices. You can check out that link. It'll send you to a couple, couple of Amazon links. I'll send you to a couple of Amazon links and uh, you can help support what I'm doing by getting your pens through those links. A little bit of information about the pens there as well. So just happen to be using a PaperMate Flare today. It's kind of a, a cheap, fairly accessible pen that I like to use for my sketches. So if you're... I like some things about it. Um, I recently started using uh, Sakura pens as well. Microns. The flare is nice because it doesn't bleed with marker typically. So I quite enjoy using that. All right. So like I was saying, you can, let's see, is this even bright enough? I don't think it's bright enough. So I'm going to have to throw some lines in here, but I'll just throw in some, some quick guidelines. Let's say we wanted to sketch a different one. I just need to reference a few points. So I'll just keep it fairly simple. also a thing you can do so if you want to fix a sketch sometimes you can just flip your paper and then once the paper is flipped you could draw on the other side this one's too big for my paper here oh well anyhow but if you want to fix something you can you can flip your paper I've done this with with uh, tracing paper quite a bit, uh, vellum, things like that. Do I follow any motorsports? I do not. I do not. If I have free time, I'm spending my free time designing or drawing or writing. I don't, I don't really watch a lot of sports. And if I watch a sporting event, it's usually like the finals of something. Or I'll check, I'll check, I'll check the score on something if if it's of interest. But I'm not. I'm not really one to to follow like a, a season of sports or anything like that. I just don't have time. I don't know how people have time either, but I just don't have time for it. Thank you, name that I cannot pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> Much appreciated. We're just doing some some bikes today. It was a request through Super Chat. Appreciate it as always. Thanks and shout out to the patrons and channel members 
for keeping it real. I'm just trying to fill up I'm just trying to fill in this page I'm not being as careful as I was with the sketch right here um, but just filling it out sometimes it's nice also to balance out a, if you're doing like a product design sketch page sometimes it's nice to balance out your more finished stuff with um, things that aren't as finished Just so you're not you're not hitting the same beat over and over and over and it ends up kind of hurting your presentation at least that's the way i see it maybe you guys see it differently do i have any tips on practicing perspective there are many so i'll show you guys in a little bit i'll show you my website and the reason for that is i've got some pretty great resources i think <laughs> but i'm biased um i've got some resources there for you I'm trying to think i think i'm pretty sure i did some perspective stuff last week in terms of demo demo content but um on the website itself there is a section that We'll have a list of basic videos for perspective, help you with tips. Um, or if you're wanting to do like car sketch. <clears throat> so I'll show you that. So if you go to, let's see if this works. No, there we go. If you go to sketchaday.com slash videos, that's the second link over. If you go to the website normally, you're going to see just stuff to buy. Because I want you to buy stuff. It's true. Um, because it's good stuff. Anyhow, <laughs> if you click on video list and scroll down, you'll see the section general sketching. Um, first of all, there's a basic sketching playlist. If I click on that, it's going to take me to a list of videos on YouTube. But if you want to like how to go from 2D to 3D in perspective, this will autoplay, so I'm going to mute it here. Um, but it jumps to this live recap video that I did, right? And you can see here, hey, here's how you go from 2D to 3D in perspective. So super handy, I think, if you're interested. want to check that out at sketchday.com slash videos all right that's where that is how's my 500 going it's going well it's probably going to end up being about it's going to end up being about uh 45 days i think <laughs> at this rate but um i was explaining on uh, i think it was tuesday you know, I've done it before, so it's not it's not about proving to myself that I can do it in the time. Life just got a bit intense this time around, so. It's taking a little bit longer than I would like, but it's all right. But it's going well. Um, I'm finding myself sketching the same things though, so I need to mix things up in terms of content and flow. So I'll be doing I'll be doing some of that.
as well. Okay, I think after this I'll do the hover bike, and then if there's... Let's see, how are we on time? Yeah, I'll just do the hover bike, and then we'll call it. So this ended up being a motorbike show. Motorbikes, we did a, we did some semi-truck stuff as well. And I did say maybe I'd go digital, but I'm not really feeling like it right now. So let's just finish this wheel. So lost on drawing heads and bodies. Yeah, there's a there's a section on the website as well that is a it it says I think it's people. Um, there's a lot of fashion sketching because that's when I did a lot of people on the channel. I don't normally do tons of people sketches, but something I'm working on in the background, trying to learn myself, and be better at. So yeah, once you once you get the hang of it and you're warmed up, you can start to like play and just do other things with the design. So I'm not I'm at, at this point I'm not even like you know, being as careful with the perspective, but that's because we're we're kind of all warmed up at this point. The ellipses are hard though. I think that's probably why people are always like, hey, can you? I, I get lots of requests to sketch bikes and cars. Ellipses are really hard, but if you watch my video on ellipses, it'll give you some tips on how to do that. So I'll just finish out this page. And we'll call it good for our sport bike. So thanks again for the super chat. Forgot who it was. I'm terrible with names. I'm so bad. But thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so quick little thumbnail there. All right, already talked about proportion. Um, just a quick recap what we did today with these semi trucks. And then we ended up with these more futuristic looking concepts. We did some bikes in perspective, rough sketches. Talked about proportion as well. So if you want to catch the replay, it'll be available there watch the replay i know the videos are super long i'm trying to chapter them out so that uh you guys can kind of you know jump to what you want to see but yeah do give it do give it a give it a rewatch give it a share watch it in your classes whatever you got to do or if you want to sketch a day and chill that's that's okay too uh Um, let's see. Sorry, guys. Had a message come in. There's two Discord links in the description. There are? Oh, my goodness. I need to clean that up. My apologies. I'll work on that. All right. Let's do a quick hover bike. And I'll call it good. For today. Hover bike. Man, hover bike. We can do all sorts of stuff now. All right. So let's let's do some sort of... Schematic. I'm already thinking in terms of Star Wars hover bikes, but maybe this is the seat right here. We've got some mass, uh, some element that connects us, and then steering. Hmm. How do we want to do steering? I guess steering could be like here too. So, seat. So, you'd sit here. 
right? Leg like so, so we'd need some sort of... Some sort of rest for the leg. Maybe the, maybe the handle is like all the way here or something. So just in terms of, of schematic, where we could do something like that. It's very, very blocked out, mechanical, not really thinking aesthetically at least just yet, but that's okay. Because if you, I think sometimes if you jump right into design, and at least in terms of aesthetics, without having a plan, it can, it can be really stressful. So now, <laughs> again, I'm doing the same thing that I always do, but, um, you know, maybe think about, okay, what is this? What? Sorry guys, my kids were streaming or something and it messed up the connection, which is weird because <laughs> I really hope this doesn't happen next week. I paid for, um, what do you call it? Gigabit ethernet or gigabit internet. I'm supposed to have super fast connection. So apologies. And that we'll just finish this up. It looks like I lost most people, so oh well. All right, so we're just sketching this hover bike thing out, and just want to make sure get these elements. I actually like. I actually like. Uh, how this turned out. So maybe we have a little little elbow rest here. And then this can be where our hands go. Oh hey, we got people back. Alright. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um kids were double streaming or something, which Anyhow, they know they're not supposed to. Yeah, I'm digging this. This design. At least in theory. So far. Okay, I want this to be skinny. All right, so what I'm doing is just translating this 2D design here into 3D, we're trying to. So all, all of what you see there is what I'm sketching right there, okay? So perspective, I'm gonna cheat a little bit, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cheat a little bit or it's gonna, I'll just, I'll just let it run off the page. It's fine, it's okay. So maybe these foils are on the front here. And then we've got this element. Kind of runs through. And I think on this one, I'll use a little bit of marker. I'll use a little bit of marker on this one. But I like the idea that you know, these are connected on the front here.
feel like I need a light or something. Which I didn't capture in the initial sketch, but I want to put it here. So maybe some sort of some sort of light element right there. So if you're watching on Instagram or other platforms, um, usually when I stream, I just pay attention to one chat and that is the YouTube chat. So if you're hoping to say hi, whatever, that's why the YouTube link is there. FYI. Man, a hover, a hover bike would be so scary to ride, I think. I guess it, w it would be intimidating in the sense that You'd see this thing just floating over the ground, and then it's like, oh, okay, if I get on, is it gonna humble and kill me here? I don't know. It's kind of scary. I guess maybe this would be our, our HUD right here. So you'd have a little heads up display there, but maybe this could be like controls and stuff. Also, why don't I save the replays on other platforms? Well, I'm grateful for social media and like Facebook and stuff, but at the same time, they do not really compensate creators so their business model is advertising right so they take your information and then broker it to advertisers who want to reach certain audiences but all of that would be impossible if there weren't content that people were interested in unfortunately these platforms such as Facebook, YouTube's YouTube's better, but uh, they don't really compensate creators for this. Like, there's no, at least on Instagram, there's no real monetization, right? So, if you're not getting paid, you're the product kind of thing. So I just don't feel good about leaving my stuff up on Instagram. That's why I don't anymore. I used to, but I'm taking a stand somewhat now that's not to say it's not free i just want you to watch it on youtube that's all it's not that hard i don't think all right so we got our foils up front here and i'll just add a little bit a little bit of marker let's throw a background in just to fill out fill out the page here a little bit And we can throw a shadow on the ground. Just like a, a drop shadow. And I'm just trying to imagine, you know, general shape here, what the shadow might look like. And then we'll throw some quick marker on. How often do I replace my flare? I have probably a hundred flare pens and the minute they stop performing for drawing, I will use them for writing instead. So this one's good. I've got three over here that aren't, so I'll just use those for writing. You know, signing stuff, whatever. If I have business to do. 
So as far as how long they last, I don't I don't know. Like I haven't done a what's the word? A mileage test to say, yeah, I use this one pen and here's how many pages I got. But that would be interesting. That would be an in interesting test to run. Let's see how that goes. Now I'm burping up turmeric. Ugh. Even though I know it's good for me. But I'm burping up turmeric. Alright, so some quick shadows under here. And we will call it good for the day. Thanks for hanging, everybody. Hope you have a fantastic Friday. I'm going to do a quick review of the Weekly Sketch Challenge channel once more. Shout out to you if you contributed, created. I think it would be fun to do like a like a legit resketch it where either you take my sketch and resketch it for me or I take your sketches and resketch it, but that could be pretty fun. That could be pretty fun to do. So I'll think about think about how to do that. Or maybe do another Zoom guest on the stream. All right. So there's a quick Somewhat basic hover bike. Just feel like perforating this a little bit. Let's maybe throw some some scratches on. But yeah, there's my my quick hover bike. Very sparse. Not sure how it's hovering, but it probably has to do with something with this front element and rear element. Hello, Lynette. What's up? Can I do something on biomimicry? Uh, sure. Just remind me. And we will, we will do that. All right. So quick check-in on the weekly sketch challenge channel. The theme this week, like I said, was nature. So we had mystery, interesting technique here, creating a sketch, ripping, and then filling in the rest. So I think that's really cool. It's really creative. I appreciate that. We have Ollie that submitted, Ollie Arturo. You check him out on Instagram. Really talented dude, actually. I'm not saying actually because this isn't, but I can tell this is a quicker painting, but he's got some really great stuff on his Instagram, too. We have Tom with the shoe concept photo mash, which I thought was super creative. It's like taking an image board and then turning that image board into the product. So I thought that was that was an interesting take. So I'd love to see sketches based on this. I, I mean, you could easily come up with 50 different designs from what's here. So it'd be interesting to see, see what you sketched up. And then we have age pi, HPI, it's an octopus. I can't rotate the image here, um, but I appreciate it. Cephalopod, pretty cool. I've got a cephalopod tattoo. You can't really see it, but um, yeah, really, really great stuff. So thanks as always, guys, for participating. You can join the Discord at sketchaday.com slash Discord. Check that out. Um, let's see. Okay. And then let's review what I sketched today. What I sketched today on Sketchaday. So we did some semi-trucks. Okay. We did some semi-trucks perspective there. Uh, took a look at proportion. And this is this is from my head, so it could be totally off. Could be totally off. Yeah, it's a cephalopod. Um, and then we have some perspective final concepts, some rough sketches of bikes. That was a little request that was given. Looked at proportion and perspective. Then did a more refined page after a little bit of warming up and wrap things up with our hover bike concept. So if you want to see the process of all that, catch the replay on the YouTube at youtube.com slash sketchaday.com. Some of you are already there. Make sure you turn on your alerts. I know sometimes the schedule can be all over the place, but if you have alerts on and you happen to be awake, you won't miss it. All right. Thanks, guys. Hope you have a happy Friday. I'm going to go enjoy some more tea. As I always say, passion is the process. Be sure to take some time if you can 
to explain a concept to someone. It's going to help you break things down, understand it in a way that you can then deliver it and it'll actually make you better for it. Thank you so much to those who helped out Lynette in the get help forum as well. Um, that was really cool to see everyone kind of come together and help out. So that's, that's been my goal. It's like, can we build a community of, uh, resource and help for everyone? So that was pretty awesome. So join the discord sketchaday.com slash discord. And if you want to participate in the challenges, give it a shot. It'll be fun. I know it's it says challenge. It's not a competition. It's not a competition. I just want to give you guys some prompts and uh, opportunity to try some different things. And sometimes it's a challenge for me myself where the topic is something outside of my uh, expertise or wheelhouse. So I appreciate all those. Thank you to the patrons and channel members as, us, as always. If you're interested in that. You can hit the join button on YouTube or go to patreon.com slash sketch a I did post the weekly update video for those who did not catch that. So you can get a glimpse into, into my brain and what's happening in the world. All right. Much love. Take care. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.